My apologies. I couldn't hear what you said. Where's the nearest gas station? Just a moment. Hmm. Dawn to 
dusk. You know, this is so close to Jackson. How do we know that all of this? And in, in Crystal Springs. Mississippi flag, Confederate flag. Are they like military flags? Maybe. Be a little curious what's on the other side of that. Yeah, it seemed a little like a military. This does not look particularly open. Wear a mask. Chautauqua Spring House, located in the hollow due west of here, off of the treetop trail, was constructed to shelter the clear spring that supplied drinking water to the Chautauqua Hotel and campground in the early 20th and century. And this is called Crystal Springs down here. I'm just oh yeah, Crystal out. Springs. While the spring and most others are no longer considered safe sources of drinking water, the Spring House is a nice place to visit and enjoy the quiet solitude of its surroundings. Natural Spring is typical of many found in the area and the reason for the town being named Crystal Springs. First settled by a Methodist preacher, Elijah Lott, in 1823, shortly after the state legislature established Capaya County as the 18th county in Mississippi, the original town was located approximately three miles west of its current location. Delman Louise moment. Delman Lewis moment in in uh, Crystal Springs. A little less dramatic. We're done with all this. They do have the oh hardest great signs in the world. To get right up on top. Lake Chautauqua, one of the oldest man-made lakes in Mississippi still in existence, the 34-acre Lake Chautauqua was constructed in 1895 by the Illinois Central Railroad for the purpose of supplying water to steam locomotives. The site was chosen in part due to Crystal Springs being the highest elevation along the railroad between Memphis and New Orleans. That's a logical stop for the resupply of water. Captain Frederick Y. Dabney designed the lake and supervised the cleaning and the construction of the earthen of the earthen dam to impound the lake, to impound the spring-fed headwaters of Clear Creek. The lake was constructed before the use of modern machinery and employed mule teams and hard labor. Did they see when? Yeah, 1895, okay. by the railroads mm -hmm. in order to give, like, refuel water for steam engines. Mm -hmm. Apparently Crystal Springs is a high point between Memphis and New Orleans. the nearest gas station.
Closer to anything than where, than where we just came. Yeah. I think we could have gone b back a different way, probably to Hazelhurst or whatever, but that's further. But we also mentioned the lake. Thousand, which has been a minute. Um, the racial makeup was for basically 43% white, 56% African American. And then that over there is North Jackson Street. Hmm. You know why? Hmm. Just goes to Jackson. It goes to Jackson, which is north of here. Just like this is Georgetown Street, because it probably goes to Georgetown. Now, they have a second Kennedy called Kapaya Academy, so I'll look for that too. Wow, look at that. Hmm. Big old historic. Got a tomato in front of it too. Ball of the look, tigers. I just love, 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 love seeing that flagpole in front of a public school with that no Confederate emblem on the damn thing. This is a stretch of downtown. I guess it is. Like There's a lot of downtown. Next block over. Tillman Furniture Company. You definitely get the feeling that this town had some wealth in its past. Look, it's the tomato. A lot of tomato. How would you say that? The tomatopolis. I don't think anybody has ever said tomato. But well, there are worse things to be known for in this city. And then Papa's Pizza's open, <laughs> which is the good stuff. And grab a picture here, Donna. Now, why do they have a Robert Johnson Blues Museum down this far? Robert Johnson Blues Museum. A long way from the Delta. So they'll be back in 10. Are they just making it up, or? Is there really any connection between? Yes, there is. Boat here. People of Crystal Springs. Please. Take notes. Alright, Kapaya is from a Chanto Indian word meaning Calling Panther. That's the Calling Panther Lake. Ah! Let's see what we can find out about Kapaya. government. 
highway you know, system right. sign or whatever. You know, I'm, I'm going to need to figure out if you know, Ross Burnett Reservoir is also big green signs on Interstate 55. I'm going to need to figure out how much those signs cost. Now, apparently, if this is still up to date, named Mitch Mitchell. Back here in the woods. Alright, okay, they got pictures too, like the, what was the other one called from last week? They got the football team there. Uh -huh. Oh, look, the Colonel. says, in honor of those who fought and died, those who fought and lived, this memorial is erected by Capaya County and the what is that? Charles Edward Hooker, Hooker chapter, number 1179 of the United Daughters of the Confederacy, April 80, 1917. Love makes memory eternal. It just has like, and then this along the back here is 1861 to the memory of our Confederate soldiers and then 1865. And then around the edges it says like cavalry, navy, so different kind of branches or whatever, artillery. Now we say this. Was it a... All the Confederate statues suck. Was it a fountain? Okay. Yeah. Looks like it might have been. That must have been something. But some of them emphasize the soldiers in honoring who died, in this case died and lived, and others emphasize the cause of the Constitution. Some of the language is a lot worse than others. Um, this is, you know, this language is not as bad as some of
Robert Johnson, born Hazelhurst, Mississippi, May 8, 1911, Capaya County. So certainly celebrated up in the Delta, a number of Delta museums. Looks like people here maybe paid for bricks. That was Dorothy Moore. Something of a music legend herself, if not absolutely music legend herself. But maybe she paid for some of this. Hazelhurst Branch of the NAACP. OJ Watson family. That's cool. So the back of this says, Robert Johnson's recording career left an enormous legacy to American music. The body of his work is considered to be the most powerful of its kind. There's more there. A haunting and lyrical portrait of the human spirit. King of the Delta Blues Singers. It's kind of right here on a strip in the middle of town. Statue. Yeah. I thought this was kind of interesting too. Here's the Hazelhurst historical marker on the ground. Pull this back. Named for Chief Engineer of the first Jackson New Orleans Railway. Last spike driven here on March 31st, 1858. Town was raided by Grierson in 1963, 1863. Shipping point for cattle, truck, crops, and lumber. So maybe that was done in 1951. Falling off its post here. In the middle of town. And we'll just come back to this. So this yeah. is Georgetown here. Okay. I don't know if there's a downtown. There's a I water have tower. No idea. Let's see what's in Georgetown. Looks like I better go this way. Otherwise, yeah. we'll away from it. Got Dollar General. <laughs> Seems to be the substitute for downtown these days. Yeah. Or Walmart. Maybe a marker on the door up there. Oh yeah. It doesn't look like my nose there. Well, somebody it's keeps it up. It's not getting shot. Well, I haven't quite figured out what it is yet. It's a house. That's not even help. <laughs> it does say 
something. Should Let we go see? see what the black says? Why don't you go see? I'll be here in the getaway car.